Hello everyone, let's have ourselves a chat. I'm John from Rusty Chains, and today our chat is a rather disappointing one. If you saw our last video, you know I was pretty big on Update 7 for Payday 3. I thought the update was pretty good and was actually quite healthy for the game. Unfortunately, a new aspect has been discovered that makes me really, really frustrated with Starbreeze right now. Reddit user Reptilian Vladeoz, I'm very sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, did some digging after thinking some weapons weren't feeling great, and he found that ammo pickup rates were changed in this update for all the weapons in the Syntax Error weapon pack. With the exception of three distinct magazines, these were all nerfed. The War 45 SMG in particular was completely gutted. Now for both that SMG and the FSA-12 shotgun, you're getting less bullets per pickup than you need to kill heavy swats, even with edge. That means by the middle to end of a loud heist, especially in final charge, your guns are no longer able to properly sustain themselves. Aside from this change making these weapons all feel significantly worse, the big problem is this. These changes were undocumented in the patch notes. Since launch, I've been upset with how Payday 3 hides information from its players. This is particularly egregious. Not only does the game not say at any point that different magazines for DLC guns have different pickup rates, now they've been substantially nerfed without the player base ever having been expected to find out. I don't know why this wasn't in the patch notes, but it is beyond time for a change. I've already voiced my displeasure with them leaving animations out of the patch notes, but now these are legitimate big balance updates that are hidden. No other live service game that I know of requires players to start data mining simply to figure out why their weapons suddenly feel worse to use. Is this a bug? Is this an intentional sledgehammer style nerf because Starbreeze has wanted to bring more power to ammo bags? Is this the bring back death by a thousand cuts mentality? We don't know. We can only speculate. And we can only speculate because Payday 3 has a constant issue with transparency. I can tolerate balance changes typically. But these are not healthy changes. They just make it significantly harder to use these weapons without anything real to compensate. The community as a whole doesn't know about these changes, wasn't told about them, and can't give fair feedback on them as a result. And these are also paid weapons, which upsets me the most. If you expect people to buy your game and then pay you extra for more weapons on top of that, you can't make those weapons worse without telling people. When people buy something from you, they expect that they can trust it. Why would people want to buy these weapons now that the ammo change has made them less effective or efficient than base game weapons, and that is not posted anywhere? I'm completely tired of being negative in these videos, and I was really hoping Payday 3 had started to turn a corner. I feel like I'm out here going guns blazing with this video, which I didn't want to do due to our relationship with Starbreeze devs getting a bit rocky as, as of late, which I mentioned before. But this just fucking sucks, alright? Th these are not good changes and were not handled in a good way. Starbreeze needs to get their patch notes in line, and more importantly, start being honest with players about what changes are actually being made in a game they paid for. Operation Medic Bag is supposed to help get this game on track, but people won't stick around if Starbreeze are going to keep doing these fucking rug pulls.